Hello, my name's Sigmund Freud. Welcome to Genitalia. Uh, I, sorry, I mean Monster Sanctuary. This is a game that is made of pixels and it is it describes itself as a metroidvania -y thing with monster combat pokemon -y, whatever it doesn't describe itself as that i describe it as that uh i'll just continue from where i'm up to and we can see what this is all about so this is me i've got some monsters that i've caught or hatched from eggs i've got all these monsters they're all pretty cool uh and there are monsters in the world like there and there are also with the monsters i can i can choose the monster that's following me and they each do a different skill like this monster does that this is a toad and i love him and he jumps when i jump and that's really cute so he follows me around and if there's like a wall a destructible wall i can i can do that and that will destroy the wall uh whereas with the bird for example if there's somewhere i can't quite reach i can do this and then just about reach it so Essentially, the, the animals, uh, your monsters, they have skills that are kind of like your, skills you get in Metroidvanias that let you get to places that you couldn't previously get to. So it's got that going on as like a, a platformy, worldy thing. I'll just run around. This is a very low level area that I'm uh, super, super not leveled for or super over leveled for rather. So combat will be very easy here, but you can see that it's it's uh, it's what you'd expect. Platformy, Metroidy running around but then when you do the combat it goes a little something i should have timed this better a little something like this okay i'm like level 11 or something 12 and they're level one so this is not going to be representative of the difficulty but you can see you can see how it goes so i've i've, I've spec my bird so each of the each of the monsters and this is where I prefer this to something like Pokemon. Pokemon never really grabbed me. In this, each of the monsters have, has their own uh, skill tree. So you can spec them in particular ways to do particular things. And I've, I've spec this third to be a buffy mage. So he's just going to buff my the rest of my team. Uh, you can choose your, your turn order. They're not locked by um, uh, initiative or anything like that. You can choose which of your creatures takes their turn when. So... And you build up this combo gauge thing in the top left. Have I got a mouse pointer? Yeah. So you build up this combo gauge. So however, however many times you hit with a skill, it builds up the combo gauge and then increases the damage of subsequent attacks and things. Uh, so there's a bit of strategy in that. And this, this game is actually quite surprisingly strategic when you're not fighting level one enemies. So have we got a tight thing going on there? So the bubble, the bubble thing will hurt that thing because it's weak to water. I've set the, the combat speed is on two times, which is why all the animations are playing so quickly. Uh, and then let's just do whatever on that. So it's yeah, turn based turn based combat's where your monsters fight essentially. And I'm gonna buff them all again, not that I need to, and then whatever. I need to just kill that. And depending on how well you did, you get a star rating, and that affects uh, your chances of getting like rare loot and stuff. Which is cool. So there we go. I got an egg. I have a magma pillar. Uh, which is cool. Get a little bit of XP. Not very much. And that's kind of the gist. So I'll show you the... Um... Uh, so let's have a look at my toad. Have a look at his skills. So you can see here, uh, yeah, you've got skill trees locked by level. Like different things locked by level. But you can spec, you know, you can, I can spec him to be tanky or DPS or uh, heal even. He can be a healer. Uh, and I like that. Like each of the monsters have slightly different skill trees, that you, and you can spec them to be slightly different things. They've got equipment, so he's wearing like a bunch of uh, rings and stuff. Uh, you've got consumables, which I've not even bothered uh, eating yet. But uh, yeah, so essentially, it's just you, yeah, open world, well, open platformy world, and you travel around, you meet other monsters, and you fight them. And sometimes you get eggs, so you can hatch one of them. I'm gonna avoid this combat. I'm gonna get to the. Uh, high level area to show you where I'm up to and I've been having a lot of fun with it it's not like you know it's not groundbreaking in any way particular but it's it's they've taken an idea and done it quite nicely I think so that orange place over there is where I've uh, got to I can remember the way in here yeah, this way probably oh 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 okay what level are these fellas? I didn't look. 
Oh, they're all weak to that, so uh, let's hit one of their birds. And let's take out the cat. As you see, my, my combo thing got up to 185% damage there, which is pretty cool. I uh, probably don't need the buff for this, do I? Oh, I just about do, actually. Okay. Let's do the buff. And then finish them off. Good work, me. I've got some loot. And with the loot, you can you get the eggs from which you can hatch new monsters. Uh, but in this place, you can upgrade your gear and stuff. Actually, a long way through here. I should probably find a teleporter and teleport. You've got shops, you've got potion shops, you've got consumable shops, you've got all the things you should expect. But yeah, it seems to be quite a big, quite an expensive, uh, pixely, platformy RPG with turn based combat. And the turn based combat is sort of abstracted in the form of these like animals, and that's pretty cool. Is that the blue caves? Yeah, it's definitely blue caves. So this is kind of where I'm up to currently. Uh, I've done a little bit of grinding, so I'm probably a little bit overleveled for this stuff, but that's the way I like it. Let's have one more fight. And yeah, we've probably got the gist by now. Okay, that bubble burst will hurt him. So these are level seven now. Okay, he's poisoned, so he's out. No, just a physical, a physical damage attack from that one. Yeah, he died of poison. Oh, I got a bit poisoned. Uh, also, like, you can reorder these skills and that, so if you just find yourself using them in a particular order or using one most of all, you can put it at the top and stuff. It's actually really nice. There's a lot of uh, usability affordances in this game. It's, quite, it's pretty cool. Uh... Uh, actually, I might as well. I can probably just use a basic non mana attack and just finish that one off. Uh, and then I assume the punch is going to do best there, yeah. Uh, okay, so I can skip the magic dude and just. Uh, I mean, I can just use. I'd use that again, can't I? Uh, I also like that uh, between combats, your creatures all heal to full health, so you've not got the micro, you've got not got the, it's not even micromanagement, you've not got the admin of worrying about your creature's health between battles, because that's just, that's that doesn't add strategy, that just adds, you just buy enough consumables so that you can always heal everybody, or you go back to a place where you can heal them, and that's, yeah, that's not strategy, that's literally just admin, right, and that's not fun, so I'm glad they've got rid of that. Uh, and it's a fun little game. It's, uh, I think it's like 15 quid or something like that, or a tenner, somewhere around there, 12 pounds. Uh, and I was in the mood for something like this, and I picked it up on a whim, and it's a lot of fun. If you like this kind of thing, this is absolutely a nice a nice realisation of this. And I had, a, I had a very relaxing evening just playing this for, uh, let's have a look, uh, about uh, six hours. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun. So, yeah, if it's your kind of thing, give it a go. It's our eat. I like it. Uh, it's good. Uh, I love you all. Goodbye.